whatever you want, I don't mind. Um, so for today's build, this is base game and parenthood only. You'll see at the moment in the top corner, I'm on the tiny living residential lot just because I want to make it a tier two home with the restrictions. Um, but when I upload it, I'll be putting it back onto a normal residential lot so it won't affect you if you don't have the tiny living. But if you do, you'll still be able to get all the, um, the lot traits that come with tier two. Um, so I just basically kept that on while I was figuring out the shell um, just to blah, 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 start again, just so I didn't go over the tile limit um, because that can be tricky if you're not, obviously, if you've not got the tiny living pack, you basically have to count your tiles constantly, whereas this counts it for you. So that's just what I was doing there. And um, so once I've got the shell down, I will take that off. Um, I do adjust the shell a little bit a few times throughout um, where I keep that on just so I can kind of see. But other than that, this is only like items wise and downloading. It's just base game and parenthood. I went with like a mint green and blue kind of setup, though there is a little, well, it could be for a boy or a girl. I was aiming for a boy, but it was a toddler and it's a very, very tiny, like four tile bedroom. Um, and I went with like oranges just so it could be for a boy or a girl. And then the upstairs kind of room has a room for, well, it could, it could be for one sim or two. Um, it's got two kids' beds in there, um, two sisters. I'd put it as a girl's room. But it could just be, you know, one child in the spare bed for when their friend stays over. Because I don't know about any of you, but growing up, there was a spare bed in my bedroom. Um, just, you know, if I had a sleepover with friends, we could have our own bed. Or like if I had a few friends over, we'd have like two in each bed, like topping and tailing. Um, I did have bunk beds at one point. I had a double bed, you know, I had blow up bed, like, well, a spare, like blow up bed, you know, for and have friends staying over and stuff. And I did have friends stay over often. I was very lucky that I was allowed to because I know a lot of my friends were never allowed to have friends stay over. So I feel very lucky that I was allowed to have friends over quite often, like always. I always had friends staying over, even school nights. <laughs> Occasionally school nights, maybe not always school nights. My mum probably kill me if she heard me saying I let her let him have friends stay over every single night. But no, most nights I had a friend staying over. I was great because my neighbour was my best friend as well. Um, from the same school and everything, so it was a great, great childhood. Um, so in the bedroom, you'll see I've kind of skipped over a few bits at like the bathroom and stuff. I do show a little bits of those. Um, but I do walk through at the end and there was just so much in this video that I was going back into. Like you can see me adjusting here and changing tiles and moving rooms around just to make the layout fit better. Because like the kitchen was too small and I figured if I switched it over and made it like this, there's more room for the kitchen. Um, the fridge doesn't stay there. It does move. Um, you will see, notice towards the end that there was no sink anywhere. I ended up putting the sink in the bathroom and there's no sink in the living room just because it is a tiny home and this is most likely what's going to happen in a lot of tiny homes. I watched a TV series during lockdown, the first part of lockdown um, on YouTube, which is how I found actually that there's actual thing of Sims YouTube channels because I didn't even know there was YouTube channels for the Sims. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, I've been, I've played Sims for years, um, which is never something I came across on YouTube and never thought to do. And I always, like, wanted to record my builds, and I just didn't think anyone would watch it until I found the YouTube channels, and I was like, oh, this is actually a thing that people would actually watch this. So I thought, well, why not? Um, but, yeah, it was basically where people downsized from, like, their normal large family home to a tiny home, and it goes through all the process of that. And, like, these homes are really tiny, like they'd have like, you know, your kitchen, like your living room downstairs and then there's just like this button they'd press and a bed would lower down into the living room. They'd have like a hanging electric bed with like a little ladder to it. And then when they wake up during the day, they'd just click a button and the, the bed would move back up to the ceiling. Like so many different crafty things you could do. Obviously, we don't have anything like that. In The Sims, you know, a bed lowering. Well, we have the Murphy's beds, but like we don't have a bed lowering from the ceiling and coming down, and you know, put it away during the day. That'd be super cool if they had that. But I'm, I'm happy with the Murphy beds for now. And um, so, yeah, that's what I was watching during the Philip, like during my time in lockdown. And that's kind of my kind of idea for these tiny builds that they're going to be cramped, things are going to be random places, but it'll work. Like, you don't need two sinks in a tiny home, you just need one sink. Um, and so on. So this was just me figuring out the outside of the build and you'll notice that I do a bit of the inside and I go back and do the outside. So I think in a moment I do all the terrain of the outside. I'm pretty sure that's what I do. I can't quite remember guys. I think I do the terrain now. 
yeah, I do all the terrain paint and the plants, and then I go back and really properly like clutter and make the inside feel like somebody really lives there. Um, I use pretty much similar plants to what you can see in the house to the side, which has already been shared on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out, it's on the Real to Sit Real to Sims, yeah, Real to Sims series, and it is, I think it's just called Real to Sims. Sims 4, Real to Sims, Cute and Cluttered Home, I think I called it, and then Speed Build at the end, but you'll find it. I'm sure, you know, if you're watching this one and you've watched all my builds, you might have already seen it. But if not, it is on there. Um, I could always link the video down there. I cannot talk today, guys. It's like I'm so thirsty, my mouth's just dry, and I'm just like drinking so much water because it's been really, really hot here today. If you're not already aware, this is your first time joining my channel. I live on an island. Um, so even in the winter, like, okay, it's still cold for me. But we've had really good weather today, so I'm still warm. I'm saying I'm warm when I'm sat here in, like, a dressing gown with my hot water bottle and, like, three blankets. But, I mean, like, you could still go to the beach today. Like, it's still warm. It's just my apartment's cold. Um, so, yeah. I forgot what I was saying, guys. Talk about the weather. and Oh, yeah. So I'm really thirsty because it's so warm. I'm actually going to drink some water now while doing this. So, um, you can just probably hear my glass clinking down. Uh, I love doing all these plants. I just, it's my favourite part. Um, yeah. Anyway, what have you guys all done today? So, like, for me, I've been working. I came home and me and my fella have been basically each day. Um, we pick a room and we literally, well... He empties it out while I'm at work and gets it all cleaned and then starts, you know, putting, like going through things and kind of starting putting like things back where we want them and bidding stuff. And then when I get in from work, anything that's mine, I'll go through and we'll put away and then we'll get rid of a bunch of stuff. So, so far, I think the kitchen's been done and our like laundry room. Um, so we've still got two bedrooms and a living room, dining room to do. Um... So he actually started on the bedroom today, mostly just kind of taking the sheets off the bed and washing them, but going through everything, like we want to go through our clothes because we box it all up and we send it to the Philippines. Um, for those of you who watch my channel already, you've probably heard me mention that I spent lockdown there and like I've been there a few times. Um, my fella's got family there. Um, they live in the province areas. Um, their family own farmland and stuff. And it's just, Philippines is such a beautiful, beautiful country. Um, country islands and so on um, and I love going there and I'm in a way I'm like I'm so I, I like I'm happy about lockdown the fact that I got to spend like months and I spent like five months there and I was only supposed to be there for one month but then I'm also obviously not happy about lockdown because like for one I couldn't travel I was locked down <laughs> so we were stuck in just one area but I did get to know his family a lot better and um, because usually we just kind of see them for a day or so and like as in passing as we go between like the different areas in the philippines and like, you know collecting and dropping off stuff um so i got to like properly spend time with them and like usually i wouldn't go anywhere without my boyfriend um without him but like this time you know he'd stay and he'd be like helping they, his um family like knock down the house and they were rebuilding it so the downstairs was done you know furniture was going in things needed painting and stuff but the downstairs was ready, but upstairs was just a building site. So he stayed and helped his dad because they had all like the bricks and everything. So they uh, actually started building up the walls and everything until it eased and you could have the builders back on site again. And I would go and um, his grandparents lived a few streets behind and they'd pick me up and I'd just go there and we'd like play bingo. And it was so much fun. Um, and, you know, everyone loves to win money because we used to play like you know each round be like one peso or two pesos and then there'd be like a big round for five pesos well but you'd put five passes in and so would everybody else um so yeah it was really good fun and it just reminded me like growing up me and my family always used to play like board games and everything and so it was just nice to do that again because i've not really done that in years i have a few board games here at home but like nobody really to play with them with because my family don't live here with me um so yeah it was really nice to do that I had a good laugh I'd spend a few hours there and yeah I just I really enjoyed that um it was strange because some aspects of it I just didn't enjoy there where I like you know obviously it wasn't my home it's not where I lived it's not a country I lived in you know spending quite a few months there like away from all your things like I just had a suitcase of my clothes we had our laptops and I downloaded the sims but I didn't really have 
all my you know my homely things around me you know like I can just go and like start lessons with my nail varnish or I don't have nail varnish but you know my own things you know and um, so that was kind of difficult but not because it was our own space it was just family home it was just me him and his parents there and we could go out it's just you know you like your own home comforts um and the food there is amazing I am a very very picky eater um so there was days where like I just would eat like just egg fried rice <laughs> because I didn't like the store so I went with it but like you know they always ask me though like what do you want us to cook today and I always just say like cook whatever you want and I'll try it and if I like it I'll eat it and if I don't I'll have rice like you know I don't expect people to go out of their way just to cook something I like because I'm a pussy to like just go about your day as normal and if for a day or two I'm having egg fried rice I don't care I like egg fried rice you know it's not going to do me any harm for a day or two um you know and there's always something like like if it's chicken you know I like all those dishes and I usually like I like the sauces from most dishes I just don't always like like the meat or the veg and stuff I'm just again I'm a very fussy fussy picky eater I always have been and you know that's just up to me I'm trying to change guys but it's just it's not always something you can change overnight when it's your taste buds you just got to keep trying um but yeah so it was it was a very different experience like like even like you can't um like you know, just like home comfort foods you get like you know like specific brands and stuff that you can't always get out there and especially like my mom was going to be like sending a parcel out and you couldn't you couldn't send parcels there was nothing coming in like or out of the philippines like there was completely total lockdown so like there was if it, you couldn't throw it or produce it in the philippines it was not coming to the island like there was no food deliveries coming from you know like nearby countries or buy stuff from other countries and be shipped over there was none of that so there was no parcels or anything my mum literally spent five months trying to send me a parcel like just little kind of stuff i'd get at home and um yeah it didn't happen in fact i think still now that parcel is waiting to be sent um because i said to her you know, just send it anyway um and his cousins can collect it and they can have it because just like little chocolates and stuff and um, just stuff you I, like you can buy chocolate there of course but I wanted like specific things that you just couldn't you couldn't get or we couldn't find in the area we were in so like yeah just send it out that's fine a little uh supply parcel um even books and stuff like I bought some books online on my phone because obviously once they were downloaded I didn't need the internet for them but the internet was pretty bad in the area we were staying um, which again, if we're on holiday, it doesn't really usually bother me because we only kind of check Facebook, update our family and just, you know, keep an eye on like where we're going and stuff and our flights and that. We don't really need to use the internet much for that. Uh, but being there five months, obviously you want the internet and because we didn't always have it and we had some like typhoons and stuff and there'd be no internet for it or no electric, even the electric would go in those typhoons. Luckily, we didn't get a bad one when we were there. We got the tail end of one and we had no electric for like just about, well, no, most of the day. Um, so I had, you know, my phone fully charged. I used my laptop for a bit and then when that died, I read books on my phone with like the lighting really far down. And then when that died, I was like, oh no, what do I do? <laughs> because I didn't have anything, you know? Um, so my mum tried to send me books out, but you know, it never happened. And yeah, I found stuff to do. We had basketball and stuff in the back garden. But yeah, this is the end of the build. And I've decided that I, well, I decided I've realized that I've literally rambled on. Um, about nothing to do with this build um, through this build. So we're doing the walkthrough in a second. It would just hit there once those trees are placed. Um, so we'll talk about the build in this. So this is the build, guys. It is base game and parenthood only if you want to download it. Um, I included some activities for the kids. Um, all the kid ups the kids' room upstairs has a little activity table in there, and the toys and the toddler room has toys and everything. Um, I think I should have probably zoomed in more on the house, but I just the other house was in the way. Maybe I should have bulldozed that because it was already saved. Uh, it's not my well, it will be on my gallery by the time I post this. Um, so yeah, this is the inside. I love the floorboards. It was the bottom left one, I think, but changed the colour of it. And we go into the kids' the room, the parents' room first, sorry little bathroom oh i've just realized a bit of the parents wallpaper has hit the bathroom but we can i can sort that out later and the kids the room i really really like the kids the room i think it's really cute and girly and not too over the top 
which is what I like. And then we go into the garden, the back garden. I probably should have put some plant pots or something on that little kind of decking, but never mind. There's plenty of plants to kind of cover that. So we've got the little barbecue area and the bins down the side. And if you've got this far in the build, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends and all that. And thank you so, so much for watching and enjoy the pictures.